Hi, Hoppa Rumors. Time for a story. Oh, this is a classic. I love this book. The Oxcart Man by Donald Hall. The illustrations are by Barbara Cooney. And I have to show you when I opened the book, I'd forgotten about this. I've had this book a long time. I opened the book up and my goodness, Barbara Cooney wrote to me. Is that wonderful? She used to live in Pepperell. And also in this book, pay attention. Sometimes when you take the cover off, the book is different. So as we read the story, tell me when you see that happen on a picture, okay? So, here we go. And this is a story in New England that happened a long, long time ago. Oh, look at that. He has a covered wagon. Mm-hmm. Yes. In October, he backed his ox into his cart, and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. He packed a bag of wool that he'd sheared from the sheep in April. He packed a shawl his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from the yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. She'd give us lots of things. Oh, you can tell it's October in the picture. See? The leaves are all red and golden. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed shingles that he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden, but first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seed the next spring. He packed a barrel of apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples that they tapped in March when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. Ooh, that would be fun to collect feathers. Ooh. Oh, you need to study this picture carefully. Remember, we saw that in the beginning of the book. Mm -hmm. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son. And he walked at his ox's head 10 days over hills through valleys, by streams, past farms and villages. Ten days, wow. Ooh. Hmm. Until he came to Portsmouth and the Portsmouth Market. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl that his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs 
turnips and cabbages. He sold maple sugar. He sold a bag of goose feathers. And then he sold the wooden box that he carried the maple sugar in. And then he sold the barrel that he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in. And then he sold his ox cart. Oh my goodness. Oh. Then he sold his ox and he kissed him goodbye on his nose. Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through the Portsmouth market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a Barlow knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. Oh, wait a minute. Do you remember when he walked to the Portsmouth Market? Mm-hmm. It looks a little different. It took him 10 days to get there. He's walking and now he's walking home. The trees have dropped all of their leaves. A long time has passed. And then he walked home with the needle and the knife and the wintergreen peppermint candies tucked into the kettle and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pockets. Do you see him? Yep. Past farms and villages, over hills, through valleys by streams, and he came to his farm. His son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him. And his daughter took the needle and began stitching. And his son took his Barlow knife and started whittling. And they cooked dinner in their new kettle. And afterward, Everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harnesses for the young ox in the barn. Now it's winter. And he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart, and he split shingles all winter long. While his wife made flax into linen all winter, and his daughter embroidered linen all winter, and his son carved Indian brooms from birch all winter, and everybody made candles. And in March, they tapped the sugar maple trees and boiled the sap down.
And in April, they sheared the sheep, spun yarn, and wove and knitted. See, it looks like he uses scissors. Mm -hmm. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages, while apple blossoms bloomed and fell, while bees woke up, starting to make new honey. And geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. So, for farmers who lived in New England a long time ago, that was a whole year. Mm -hmm. All the things they made and planted, and then they would go to the market and sell them and start again. I'm glad we got to see a covered wagon in the book. So, did you enjoy the story? Mm -hmm. Me too. Bye, Aqua Rumors.